little upper. Move it a little higher. higher. しんうけがたしいますでにうくぼぼぎきがたしいますでにきくかのみこんじょうにおいていまだどせずんばいずれのしょうにむかってかこのみをどせん大衆諸共に死神に三宝に消えしたて祭るべし自ら仏に消えしたて祭るまさに願わくば主情とともに大宝を体現して無情意を起こさん自ら法に消えしたて祭るまさに願わくば主情とともに深く共存に入りて知恵海のごとくならん自ら僧に消えしたて祭るまさに願わくば主情とともに Good evening. Do you have any question this evening? We like to discuss about your topics first. Anyone, please? Yes, no. <laughs> okay, I said the Buddhism is a doctrine or a teaching of tranquility. The people uh, have a realistic mind and a dualistic mind, egocentric mind. So, they, uh, you know, that uh, see the many natures uh, in in uh, each uh, entities. Uh, for instance, I I have here the beautiful flower. You know that many people understand that this flower has a color, smell, form, matter, name, beauty, value, so on. But in, uh, in the Buddhist teaching, all Buddhist, you know, that uh, teaching are based on the dependent origination. It, everything uh, exists according to the dependent origination or interdependency. Therefore, flower and its attribute, nature, or you know, as a, a, a color or a smell, you know, the matter, form, all of those attributes are dependent origination, which means, you know, depend on each other. Subject and object are dependency, which means depend on each other. The subject cannot exist by itself independently without nature or substance or activities. 
just like that all nature also does not exist by itself alone without the subject subject and at uh, its of the attribute or nature or uh, self existent we call a uh, dependent origination that is a buddhistic uh, uh, you know basic Buddha, buddha's idea according to the ordinary human point of view flower has its color or its smell or substance no but it is not true flower, uh, flower has no color by itself because color is a human sensation human feeling therefore it uh, belongs to the human mind it doesn't belong to flower itself you know, most of people understand realistically in realism you know that uh, uh, people understand everything has its own nature or substance or uh, activities no uh, self existence we say uh, svabhava in sanskrit self existence so subject and uh, self existence are inseparable you know substance must possess own attribute own characteristics no? characteristics belong to the subject this kind of idea is called you know realist realism no? but the realism is a very uh, primitive you know a uh, human idea but today you know we have to switch to the new idea that is uh, not only relativity is dependency you know einstein's uh, relativity is still you know that's uh, realistic the buddhist uh, 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 interdependency that is more advanced uh, thought than you know einstein's theory i suppose <laughs> I don't know well, what to do you what do you think in my opinion no I understand so so you know I have uh, you know a chart here you know the uh, refutation of dualism I put here that is uh, the human dualism is not different from human realism realism and dualism are same idea same point of view you know? so dualist must be a realist realist must be a dualist no? dualist is also egoist egoist it must be a realist so realism dualism egoism those three inverted views are the one ident you know one uh, false point of view now, we have uh, many example here life and death many people understand life and uh, death are quite opposite each other against each other but it is not true okay? the most of people understand that death comes after the life no? uh, that is a realistic or a dualistic idea because there is no life without death there is no death without life 
Life and death are relative existence. Not relative only. It must be a dependency. Depend, depend on each other. You know? The death depend on life. Life depend on death. So they are inseparable. Not in, only inseparable. Separable. They cannot exist at the same time, at the same place, and they cannot exist at the different place and the different time too. You know? But the people, most of people, have a different idea. You know, this comes after the life. You know? It is impossible. You know? If this comes after the life, you no, know, the dead man die. Dead man should, should no should die because after the life, you no. Know, if death come after the life, there is no life there. You know, dead. You know, death and the dead man there. Dead man is death. Uh, you know, in death. So. Dead man does not die. No? If living a person there, living a person does not die, of course. No? So living a person does not die, dead man does not die. Where is the death? When you are living, okay, you have no death. You know, when you die, you know, you have no death. You cannot stay between life and death. Therefore, you, you cannot, you know, die any, any time, anywhere. Therefore, death is just human illusion, logically. No? Reasonably. You know, just like uh, the life is also, it is only the illusion. If life and death exist at the same place, same time, you know, living person must be dead person. <laughs> Therefore, dead man, you know, must be living person. It is illogical, illogical. No? Therefore, death, you know, cannot exist. Life cannot exist with death. No? Death and life cannot exist at the same place, same time, in the same person. No? So human idea is uh, very, very uh, invalid, you know, absurd, in, uh, uh, absurd, absurd. Yeah, do you have any question? Yes, please. Yes, will you explain to me? Okay. He says they can exist at the same time. How about as part of a continuum, rather than as opposites? Uh, what, what and what? Uh, life and death. Life and death exist? I guess he's saying, as a continuum, can there be part life and part death? Oh, partly death, partly life. It is impossible. <laughs> We cannot, you know, the, the die for, you know, half of our body. <laughs> you know, partly death and uh, partly uh, uh, alive, it is uh, impossible. Death and, uh, uh, death and life are inseparable, okay? But they are not now, they do not exist at the same time and 
in the different time too. Yes, uh, human logic are always the dualistic. You know, in our knowledge, you know, the uh, you know knowledge itself are dualistic and realistic. Yes, give me another question. So they can't exist without each other, yet only one at a time. Uh, no, it is impossible. They are not, you know, both can cannot exist at the same time and the same place. No. They not you know that's the same place, different place, not the same places. No. Not one, not two. Therefore, both are unconceivable. <laughs> we cannot conceive or understand with our knowledge. It is, uh, you know, this kind of happening, you know, are beyond our understanding. No one can explain what death, what life are. Do you have any other question about the Okay, one more thing I like to explain. You know, living a person will not die you know, in the future. Because the living person at now, you know, is not the same person he will be. That's why you know that uh, uh, living person is is uh, you know uh, the man of present. Okay, the, the uh, you know die, dying person or dead man will the you know the future person. Therefore, everyone cannot stay you know at you know in the same condition. You know, everything, not only may human being, everything are changing minute by minute, second by second, setuna by setuna. There is no same, you know, permanent things in the whole universe. Everything is transient, transitory. Therefore, it is not the same person. But also, it is not the different person. Not the same person, but not the different person. We have to understand both of them equally. That is the middle path. Now, that is wisdom, true wisdom. Human you know, uh, understanding must be uh, inclined, you know, that's a partial uh, point of view. You no, know, partially this side or partially this side, you know. Therefore, they cannot understand anything, you know. Human judgment is mistaken all the time. So their understanding must be different. No, not only different, it's uh, wrong, mistaken. So we must, you know, take a fixed standpoint any time. You know, we must be a free, always free, neutral. That is a Nagarjuna's middle path. Okay. Okay. Any other question, please? Yeah, this is a little difficult, it's a little complicated because quite different from you have had and you have understood in your past life. You, know, you have a very strong habitual you know, tendency in your mind. That's why you are very difficult to switch the old idea to new idea, I think. Wisdom is also. What is wisdom? 
Wisdom is uh, uh, to understand the equality of the being. We have m- many different beings in this world. You know, trees, flowers, houses, you know, the horse, cat, many different beings. But they are quite different, but they are quite the same. When we see in our you know, uh, knowledge, with our knowledge, everything are quite different, you know, one another, each other. But when we see with our wisdom, everything are not different. You know, because everything uh, has no self-existence, self-nature, empty. Yeah, this is empty, this is empty, but different. You know? No difference between empty things. I am empty, you are empty. We have no difference between you and I. Just like that. So, the wisdom is like that. The passion is another. Maybe sometimes opposite. Sometimes it's yeah, it is not opposite, you know, by the condition. But I think, you know, I, uh, t- you know, temporarily, you know, the, uh, confront those two concepts, you know, as they are uh, quite opposite to each other. Huh? When wisdom exists, the, there is no passion. When passion exists, there is no wisdom. This is a mundane, you know, worldly theory. Just like when life exists, there is no death. When death exists, there is no life. That is mundane theory. No? Just like that. No, this is quite opposite each other, against each other. No, that is a human dualistic point of view. You know, in Buddhism, we have uh, we do not understand like that because they are dependent origination, dependent existence, dep- dependent ceasing, you know, disappearing. You no, know? when one now this exists, that exists. When this does not exist, that does not exist. When this uh, 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 comes to be, that comes to be. No? When this, you know, they disappears, that disappears at the same time. That is. Uh, you know, one aspect of uh, of uh, dependency, but this is in this uh, only half side, half meaning of dependent dependent uh, dependent theory, interdependent theory. I mean, so the passion and uh, wisdom and the passion are. Just like depend depend on each other, like this and like this. No? So they are they cannot exist, they cannot exist at the same time and or and, or, and at the different time. No? So uh, Uh, there is no uh, passions in wisdom. There is no wisdom in the passion. No? Therefore, there is no passion. There is, oh, excuse me. There is no uh, passion in wisdom, and there is no passion in passion. Therefore, there is no passion anywhere. 
see, you know, I, 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 we have another, you know, example here. We have a light here. This light does not exist in the light. In light, there is no light in darkness. Therefore, there is no light anywhere. Can you understand that? <laughs> Can you follow me? And also, there is no darkness in darkness. There is no darkness in light. No? Therefore, there is no light. No? Light and darkness, or wisdom and passion, are, you know, that, uh, you know, just depend, depend on each other. Until this exists, this cannot exist. You know, this, until this exists, this cannot exist. Therefore, both cannot exist. <laughs> Can you follow me? This is a very complicated, you know, logical problem. That's why, you know, that uh, uh, this is a college lecture. <laughs> can we forget about being logical? Pardon me? I said, can you think about this logically? Yeah, logic itself is, is uh, not so useful, you know, because, you know, human logics, you know, logic are always uh, dualistic, you know. Therefore, you know, that uh, in the wisdom, logic doesn't work. Everybody has a perfect, a complete wisdom. In this wisdom, you know, logic cannot work. It, is, it doesn't, you know, it's uh, uh, valid or useful. Okay, we have one, one more example. Okay, give me, you know, that. Uh, you know, that's uh, some question after this explanation. Buddhi is enlightenment. Enlightenment. People like it. And illusion, you know, that uh, some people hate it. But <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> illusion is very wonderful, you know. Most of people have a lot of, you know, great deal of illusions. Illusion is not always illusion, because when we understand the body, illusion, you know, turn to be body. When we know only illusion, we are in the illusion. We are, you know, that's, uh, you know, I know, uh, you know, the, you know, uh, you know, what the body is, but. That is illusion. So all human understanding of uh, body, enlightenment, or nirvana are the just conceptual understanding. That's why it is called illusion. You know. So body and the, uh, the illusion you know, seems to be a quite opposite, but they are quite the same thing. Even the people think, you know, that uh, they are different, but the wise people understand they are not different at all. Buddha and I, or we, are, you know, same thing. Buddha has no nature, nothing. He has no wisdom. He has no compassion. He has no enlightenment. You know, this flower is also, it has no wisdom, no beauty, excuse me, no compassion, and no enlightenment. You know? Therefore, you know, this is uh, the no different, different from uh, no, it's a Buddha himself. So sometimes we call this is the Buddha. Uh, some call, sometimes we call this is the Buddha. No? 
This is the Buddha too. So, in the, in the realm of knowledge, world of knowledge, we cannot say so. Buddha is uh, quite uh, different, you know, that's uh, uh, defined, how to say, uh, very defined, how to say, divine being. No? And uh, uh, the enlightened, the perfectly enlightened person, awakened person. Uh, he must be uh, quite uh, different from, you know, us, human being. But that is a human idea. From the Buddha's idea, it is quite uh, different. He knows, you know, the equality, you know, equality. Therefore, you and I are not different. Buddha always said, we are together in the nirvana, or our body. You know? Please understand my state of you know, understanding. No, you are the Buddha. Wake up. <laughs> Buddha always you know, said so. But very few people could understand his meaning. No? because they cannot get out from the human, mundane world. Buddha is out of mundane world, supra-mundane realm. No? Only mental state are different, that's all. No? Body are the same body. Ordinary mind are the same mind. No? But mental state, now, Buddha had a little different, flexible, uh, flexible you know, mental state, that's all. Uh, everyone has the same wisdom with Buddha. Uh, why don't you find out your true wisdom? <laughs> okay, please, any questions so far? Yes, sir. Is flexibility the only difference? Different from what? Between us and Buddha? Uh, yes, uh, I, I said so, because my world was a very you know, dualistic, you know? Because, you know, the, 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 uh, basically, there is no difference between Buddha and we are. You know, we, we have nothing, you know? Temporarily, people say we are human being, but that is a fixed, you know, you know, idea. Buddha is quite a person uh, who is quite, you know, flexible. No, he has no standpoint. He is always in the middle path. Therefore, you know, he has no idea, no affirmation, no negation. No opposition, no agreement. <laughs> okay, any other question, please? Yes, sir? Could you say that logic is a passion? Logic of passion? Could you say that logic is a passion? Uh, logic is a passion. What does it mean? Logic is passion. Uh, yeah, I understand a little of it. The logic is a passion. We can say, you know. But usually, this one logic, uh, yeah, you know, passion and the logic. Well, logic is uh, uh, human logic. Uh, kind of uh, illusion, you know, because it is dualistic. It is a realistic logic. And therefore, if we say any word, any sentence, it is illogical. Okay, this flower is beautiful. Okay, if I say so, if you say so, that is uh, People think, understand, it is logic, logical. 
But in my point of view, it is illogical. Okay? This flower is beautiful. Or red color, okay? If either, okay, you know, this flower is red color. If someone says so, that is illogical words. Because this flower is already no the red you know red color red color red color does not red anymore is not red red you know flower no red color is not red well uh, not to be red again you know so red color is red color, that's all. No. You, people do not say anything. Therefore, you cannot say red color is red. Red flower is red. No. The, if this flower is beautiful, you cannot say that kind of flower is beautiful. You, you cannot say so. That is redundant, redundant. It is a useless word. Huh? Can you say, uh, ask the person, what color do you think that is? Yeah, that's, uh, the, do you think, what color is this? Well, I think it's uh, red. Red, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, that is, uh, you, you, you see red, okay? Uh, if I, uh, oh. I, you know, I put, it, put it in the in shade, okay? Yeah. In darkness, you know? Is it uh, red too? Uh, it's a different shade of red. Yeah, so you cannot see it. If this flower is red, it must be red any time, all the time. But color does not belong to this flower. So, you know, you cannot say this kind you know, of flower is red. Flower is uh, only the, you know, dependent origination. I would mean conditional. Conditional, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, flower, you know, color is conditional. Therefore, we cannot say it is red. That is, it means permanent red, you know. So, it has uh, no like, uh, color. Therefore, you cannot say it is, it is red. That is only conditional. So, you know, all human words are illogical. And all human understandings are delusive, illusion. I told you many times before. Yes, so you can understood that. Yes. So what shall we do? We must get out from you know illusion. Okay, from this illusion or passion or darkness, you know, or attachment. What, you know, what should we do? No. You should you know, stop your thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just you know that uh, ignore or forget your concept in your mind. Concept of flower is not a flower. No, we know that. But most of people do not know. No? Most of people are very realistic. This, uh, uh, for instance, this flower exists by itself. No? So it, you know, uh, the, it is visible. No? And uh, it, it, it uh, responds our eyes. Uh, our knobs of eye. Then we catch, we can catch the form 
and you know color or characteristics. You no know, directly, my mind, you know, can grasp it directly. This is the ordinary realistic, realistic point of view. That, but that is big mistake. No? If we have a, you know, that a medi mediator, the which called the concept in our mind, you know, we cannot understand anything. Concept is so important, no, in our knowledge. No? That concept, how do we produce our concept? We can see, you know, with our eyes. I cannot see the object. On this stimulation, we receive any stimulation in our nerve. That the stimulation become uh, uh, some kind of, kind of images in our mind, like a camera, you know, in the camera uh, uh, mechanism. You know? So, but you know, at that time, our mind can, can, do not know, does not know what this is. So we compare this, you know, new stimulation or image with uh, many past memory, past experiences, you know, remaining in our uh, memory consciousness, alaya consciousness. You know? Then you know that uh, uh, it is like a computer, you know, machine. Then compare you know, with uh, uh, you know, those things, new things and all the memories. It's a very rapidly, you know, 10 million times uh, one second. Then you know, the, uh, we have a new you know, concept. It must be a you know, flower, uh, not a uh, sweet pea, like that. So that is the image of sweet pea appears here. That is concept of sweet pea. We, our six consciousness, you know, mono consciousness, uh, recognize it. No. Uh, the how say uh, Im 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 image. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, cognize it. Then that is knowledge. So uh, our you know, can, mind cannot grasp anything. No? Only we make our own, you know, the mental picture, image in our mind. But people, most of people, do not know we need this image. No? We, this image is very important in our knowledge. People do not know that. That's why, you know, that uh, uh, when we understand, you know, that uh, this is a uh, yeah, pink rose, you know, I, you know, ignorant person insists, this is a pink, uh, you know, rose. I saw it pink. You know, I can accord the f color of, the, of this flower directly with my experience, with my, uh, you know, uh, the eyes. That is positivism. Huh? That positivism or empiricism, we say. <laughs> Our, you know, experience is the most, you know, the, how to say, uh, sure. Uh, you know, that uh, true uh, method. Yeah. Can you be sure of something without naming it? Without a name? Without naming it. It's only when we name it, it seems that we have problems. Yeah. Uh, for instance? In other words, if I just look at that rose yeah. and become enveloped in that rose, uh -huh. uh, and I don't name the rose. Yeah. Isn't that a clear perception? Uh, uh, yeah. In the Western world, name is very important. They understand it through the name. <laughs> Meaning of the like, mean, you know, the, the words, you know, term. That is called, uh, how to say, 
formal logic. No? The form is the words. Name is a form. No? So we understand the you know, object with a name. Therefore, our name is very important in the Western logic. No? But name is, uh, you know, that's uh, human made. People, you know, they put a uh, name. So we have uh, hundreds and two, three hundred of different names in the laws, on the laws. No? I just meant without the name. Yeah. You don't need to name, you know. The, the you know that uh, thing itself has no name. Laws is a name of group. Group. We have uh, many uh, hundreds of different laws in the world. All are you know called as a laws. You know. So th this individual flower laws has no name. Okay. Name is like that. So, even without the name, right, you couldn't recognize still as anything if you didn't have a name. Yeah. I mean, you could yeah. just you say, I don't have any name for it. Yeah, most of things. That's right. Most of things uh, we can recognize without a name. You know, I, 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 I don't know sometimes, uh, you know, my friend, you know? <laughs> oh, this is Babu or not, you know? But, you know, I know him very well. Name is not necessary for us. <laughs> <laughs> Name is like that. Yes, please. Are perceptions illusion too? Yes. Perception, conception. Uh, feeling, emotion, and pain, all are concept. Concept is concept, you know? Therefore, concept is not actual being. Concept itself is, uh, you know, that's uh, the uh, interdependent origination, you know? Conditional or origination. Therefore, it has no self-nature, self-existence. It is empty. It must be empty. It has no name, no meaning, no names, no activities. <laughs> In our humanness, can we, can we experience a rose without name or...? Yeah, sure, sure. Can you can, you can. In our human mentality? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Is yeah. illusion? I don't know. It is, uh, you know, illusion is, uh, if, you know, uh, you know, the concept, uh, knowledge itself is not illusion or wisdom. It is it. Now, sometimes, uh, even the people attach to own understanding, you know, then, you know, this, I believe this is true. That is a big affirmation. This affirmation is, uh, you know, illusion. You know, flower has no. It, it, the flower itself is not illusion. You know, but if I insist, this is laws. This is laws. You know, no, I always insist so. That is my attachment to the name. You know, it has no name, but. No. Even so, I call, insist, this is laws, this is laws. No. That is my, you know, that's a, a strong attachment to the, to the name. No. This is a kind of a stupid, stupidity. We must get out from this kind of attachment. No. Yeah. You know, the people uh, have a suffering, anxiety, or a fear. Why? Because, you know, they have attachment to their own idea. 
<laughs> if so, we, we do not attach to our own idea, you know, that uh, we have nothing to, you know, to, uh, how to say, to be, to be bound. Attachment is a big bound. <laughs> But, you know, bandage or feta. Yes, sir? If you're unafraid of death, then uh, I, I guess there's no anxiety. In other words, if, you don't, if you're not afraid to give up your body, then you're not afraid of anything. Yeah. No, the, the death does not, uh, is not like that. You know, you cannot die anytime in the future or presently. Yeah. You cannot die any time, in the past, in, in at the present, or in the future. How nice. <laughs> but the body stops functioning. Whose body? This thing I have. That is your body? Yeah, no, that is not your body. <laughs> there is no you. Who is possessor of your body? Self? You are ego? <laughs> yeah. If you have an ego, you know, that ego, uh, you know, that's uh, changing all the time. Is that right? True ego doesn't change. It must be, uh, you know, eternal in your body. But, you know, that uh, uh, your bo body is changing all the time. Where is the ego? Ego also changing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yes? That would explain why people don't like to get old. Get old? Uh, most of people, I, I'm also, I don't know, I hate, uh, you know, decaying. Oh? Yeah, sure. <coughs> is that your ego that hates it? Yeah. <laughs> that is uh, my big ego. <laughs> I hate what I like. You know, you know, ego. I have no ego anywhere. You know? therefore, I, I I don't care. You know, getting old. You know? there is no I. So, what is getting old? Nothing. <laughs> Always, I, I'm young, yes. Just body. Body. Uh, what is body? Uh, it, is, uh, it is, you know, a pile, you know, aggregate of many things. Okay? We call it a temporary body. But it is aggregate, scandal, we say. Yeah? You know, you know that uh, uh, you know you have uh, you ate uh, you know that uh, meat yesterday, and that meat became your body today. I don't know how you know that uh, you know, and it became your energy. You know that you know that was uh, you know meat, cow, <laughs> cow. <laughs> You know, became you, a human body today. And how about tomorrow? Your body will stay with you? I don't think so. It's changing all the time. Where is the, your body? Your body is only concept. You know? Therefore, it is not permanent. It is not, you know, always changing, changing. No? So it is not thing. Changing thing is not a thing. Yes. Death is nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> so to not fear death is an illusion. Is that right? Not the death is an illusion. Not the fear. Not. So not fear death, is that an illusion? Yeah. Fear is uh, different from uh, death. Fear of death is, uh, you know, if we are, uh, you know, uh, uh, attached to, my, to our body or our life, you know, living, uh, you know, uh, life. So, you know, someday 
we saw someone die. Hey? Oh, he died today. He's a very close friend of mine. No, I may, you know, die someday in the future, like him. No? So I don't like to die, you know. That is fear of death. Not that. Okay? To not fear death is an act that is illusion. Uh, what is the act of the illusion? Uh, what is that? T tell me a part part. Okay. To not fear death is an act that is illusion? Oh, uh, do not uh, fear uh, fear. That is illusion, you mean? Uh, 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 I think that you know, kind of illusion. Because all cognition, knowing, even happiness, that is illusion. Yeah. Even, you know, uh, happiness is a big illusion. People like it, happiness. But, no, the human happiness is not real, real true happiness. It is the uh, same to, you know, uh, suffering, big suffering. Uh, yes, sir. Is that because happiness is the recognition of happiness after the fact? In other words... After the fact of what? Well, okay. <laughs> initially, initially you, have, you have something. You have, uh, without a name, uh, okay? And then happiness is the recognition of that thing. Uh-huh. And so is that why happiness is an illusion? Yeah. All gain a cognized, you know, feeling or ideas, you know, or images, concepts are illusion. Yeah. Because it is the only concept of uh, suffering, concept of fear, concept of happiness. You know? When we are really happy, we have no word, no concept, no cognition. You know, he, he, he doesn't know self or time, place. When you are really happy. And also, when you are really sad, okay, suffer, suffer, or suffering, you know, you don't know yourself. You forget time, place, circumstances, everything. Just, you know, uh, you know, no suffering feel, feeling. Have you any experience? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Sir. Well, you say that death is no different than life, um, but when we are without somebody who used to live but is now dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this and uh, uh, life are same thing. Just like a front of you know uh, face, you know front and back. You know, like that. East and west. There is no east uh, without west. There is no west without east. They are inseparable. You know? East does not exist alone by itself. But many people among us, you know, in the human world, understand, you know, flower exists by itself, you know, like that. That is very stupid idea. We must get out, remove it this kind of fixed idea. You know, so far, you know, it, it is the meaning of uh, the Buddhist uh, theory of uh, dependent origination, you know, 
when we if we un, we wish to understand Buddhism, you know, you can you have to understand this you know theory or doctrine, you no. Know? Otherwise, you can not understand you know, more advanced doctrine in Buddhism. That's why I took many times, you know, many uh, t- you know, long times. We spent, you know, long times. I uh, repeated many, many times about the same theory. You know? But you know, for some people, it is uh, too difficult. You know? not so interested in. But I am sorry for them. But you are different. You you can come and uh, you know uh, uh, understood it. That uh, for your sake, you you will understand Buddhism, you know, sooner, you know, and you will become the Buddha, you know, as you know s- soon. So this is very important for you, because only you are you yourself is the only living creature in the whole universe. Your mind has your realm, your world. It is not my world. You must have your world. Only one life. You know, I have my world. You have your world. No other. You cannot possess my world. You cannot live in my world. No. You have your world, and you are, you know, possessing your world, and you are the creator in your world or of your world. No. So you will understand. You know, only one mind, one person in the whole universe. You know? I am a just concept of you. I am an image of your mind. You are image of my mind. Who is the you know that uh, uh, thinker? I don't know you are thinking, or I don't know you are feeling. You know, I don't know your idea. Only I judge. No, I have a judgment. No? I can evaluate. I can create. I can, you know, understand you. No? So I have only one mind in the whole universe. You know, picture, we have a picture on the wall. There are many thousands, millions, billions of people, you know, uh, living in this world. No? They are just like a picture in the world. Uh, they are talking, they are thinking, but that is uh, you, their own world. But you are living by yourself. You have your universe. No? You, are, you have your world. No? We cannot interrupt your world, your mind. Yes, sir. You say we create our own world. That's right. Uh, the more we create, does that make it more difficult to be like a Buddha? Uh, no. No, no, that's, uh, the Buddha created his world. No, equal world. No? But even cat, dog, all creatures created their own world. Cat see the human being as a cat. Horse, you know, I understand, you know, that the human beings as a horse. Because their horse's concept are horse's concept. You know, we are just reflected in the horse, horse's, you know, mind. So we are horse in the horse's mind. Do you follow me? <laughs> it is so different. Yes, sir. I, but I can't be sure of that because um, 
if, if, uh, if it's my own creation, this world, then I yeah. can't be sure of what, what I'm hearing because I could be talking to myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm not really sure of it. Uh, you understand, you know, that, uh, you know, that uh, me true meaning of uh, what I said. You know, if I understand you, that, that, that you know, I had just, you know, that uh, introduced you the Buddha's idea. I don't know you can, you know, c copy or not, you know. So, Buddha said so. I, you know, in your you know, mind, Buddha still living. You know, that's why Buddha in your mind, you know, agree. You know? <laughs> yeah, we have a many, many uh, different, you know, mental state creatures in my mind. You know. Buddha is here, Confucius is here, the Socrates is here, and the Jesus here. You know, we have many, many, you know, the human beings. You know, someone has a very, you know, high uh, degrees of uh, of uh, character or virtue, and some are very low. You know? All are my concept. Yes. Um, I'm still stuck on creation, uh, creating uh, uh, our world. Do we, when we create illusion for ourselves, uh, that's uh, that makes things more complex. That makes things more difficult, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah create, uh, no, create the illusion. That is very easy. But <laughs> Results are difficult, aren't they? Uh, no difficulty. We have to plow through that illusion, don't we? Uh, yeah. yeah. Illusion is, uh, is, uh, is not real. All illusion, you know, is not actual being. It is not real things. No? Illusion is like illusion. So, no one have an illusion. Is it better? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Illusion is illusion. You know, you know, it is not real. You know, I have a million dollar in my pocket. It is all you know that that uh, uh, how say mo 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 model uh, uh, paper. You know, model uh, not real. You know, coin or money. You know, just like that. You know. Yeah. When you say get out, <laughs> you don't need to get out. No. 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 You cannot get out from you illusion. Out. <laughs> you are more real than illusion. <laughs> illusion get out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, and in my conceptual mind, I see this world yeah. bubble that I created for myself. Yeah. And have all these different concepts and illusions. Yeah. I created this thing. It's just mine. Yeah. You know. And do you mean to get out of that? And uh, that is a, you are a kind of illusion. <laughs> you know, <laughs> kind of illusion is that your world is like a bubble. You know. Uh, but it is uh, the, this guy. Uh, you know, that's uh, an illusion. Uh, come from the causes, many causes, and the reason, many reasons. You know, therefore, it it is empty. You know, all product of the causation, you know, dependent origination, has no self-existence. Therefore, all you know, idea, all concept, all understanding, are empty from the beginning. So when you realize so, when you understand everything is empty, all illusion no, is gone. Illusion is gone. No, you are staying there. <laughs> you don't need to, no, uh, you know, to escape from illusion. No. So the illusion escapes from me. No. 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 Illusion cannot do anything with you. Illusion is illusion, you know. It, is, it does not disturb people. 
<laughs> yes, sir. With all our illusions gone, is there anything left to do? <laughs> I don't know. It, we call it empty. <laughs> empty is, uh, is uh, you know, e empty. You know, that's, uh, we have no idea, no understanding, nothing. You know, no affirmation, no negation, no opposition, no loving, no attachment. You know, so it is uh, as it is. Yes, sir. Please. Okay. I have a long question. Yes, surely. Okay. Is emptiness the opposite of consciousness? Uh, emptiness always seems like a negation, and consciousness seems to be a positive force. And yet, there is an emptiness-only school and a consciousness-only school. Are they the same? Ah, uh, little different. Emptiness, uh, you know, uh, definition of emptiness is a little different. You know, the, you know that emptiness is not a real thing. It is upaya, which means it is a method. You know, so you know that. Uh, uh, why do we say everything is empty? Because everything which is uh, the product of causation, dependent origina origination, you know, co that dependent origination, you know, has no self-existence. Therefore, we cannot you know, grasp it. We cannot understand it. No one can explain it. No? Therefore, we call it uh, emptiness temporarily. There is no empty thing in the world. <laughs> emptiness is a uh, kind of, you know, it is only a uh, delusive concept, not an actual, you know, things in the world. No? It is uh, like, uh, you know, I always uh, explain like this. Now, there is no poison in the world. And also, there is no medicine in the world. No? Medicine and poison are the same thing. No? When that poison kills the poison, you know, conditionally, we call it medicine, temporarily. No. Therefore, medicine, there is no medicine permanently. There is no poison permanently. Medicine equals poison. Poison equals medicine. Doctor said medicine. But the ch children say it's a, you know, a poison. <laughs> yes, sir. Is emptiness a tool for confounding the mind? Two? Is emptiness a tool for confounding the mind? Tool for founding. For no, a tool. Tool, yeah, yeah. A tool or technique. Yeah, technique. That's right, that's right. It is just, you know, the, the devices we call, tactful means. Yeah, it is not real. No? Why, you know, for instance, you know, if this is this flower is empty, we cannot see it. This is not empty. We call it, you know, uh, the, uh, this is empty for the people who, you know, understand this is a real flower. We like to remove his, uh, this, you know, fixed idea, standpoint, you know, here. You know, yes, that is a real flower. You know, we say later. <laughs> that is emptiness. No? It is a device. So most of people misunderstand empty. Okay? Empty, emptiness is empty. You know, just a void. You know? I like this. You know? <laughs> people attach to the voidness. You know? If we attach to emptiness, emptiness it must be something. Not empty. <laughs> no? So emptiness must be empty. No? It doesn't exist anywhere.
But uh, some people misunderstand. Emptiness is real. That is a universal, uh, you know, uh, truth. So it exists anywhere, you know, in the you know in the world. That is big attachment, misunderstanding. You know, the Buddha said, some people attach to emptiness, those people has no medicine to cure them. Yes, please understand this point. This is very important in Buddhism. Yes, we must go, you know, forward. You no, know, next from next time. So this is, uh, you know, very important for you to understand it. No. Otherwise, you, you know, you cannot, you know, uh, become free. You no. Know? If you have a you know, fixed standpoint, you will be not free. You know, always you, know, you cannot move. No? You shouldn't have any fixed standpoint. That is Buddhistic you know, fundamental you know, the, the doctrine or truth, you know, the, the doctor teaching. Questions are yes. sort of like that. Questions? questions are sort of like that. As soon yeah. as you have questions, it comes from some kind of fixed standpoint. Yeah. So the moment you ask a question, it's uh, it, it's like questions and answers, life and death, wisdom yeah. and passion. Yeah. But, um, it's also an illusion. Yeah. All questions are illusion and all answers are illusion too. <laughs> That's why Buddha said, I didn't say anything in my whole life, he said. I think that's why I feel so stupid to ask questions all the time. <laughs> <laughs> or you need to say anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows everything, you know. But, you know, he wished to know. That is not wish to know, you know. The, the most of people wish to test the, you know, uh, talker, you know, or, or, or orators. You know, if I said, this you know way how, how he answers no? it is a test you know testing uh, question <laughs> yes sir I do that, that I don't always get the answer I expect. Yeah, that's right. No, all answers are, you know, that, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the poison. You know, like, uh, you know, uh, there is no right answer to the question. And also, there is no right question to the, you know, the, uh, author or, or the orator, you know, uh, because the if he knows something, you know, knows is a doubt also same same things. If he has a doubt, you know, that is a concept of doubt, not a true doubt. You know. Question is also, you know, that, uh, uh, that the, if he understand that this is my question, that is not a question anymore. 
you know, and man, not more, than, you know, only that. When I, you know, so the, you know, the receive a question, you know, uh, you know, at that time uh, when I make an answer, okay, or I like to, uh, I like to let him understand more deeper. That is my fault. Okay, my discrimination. You know? So, you know that, uh, uh, you know, he, the questioner and the answerer are the same, uh, has the same, you know, the, uh, the degree of uh, wisdom. We are no different. You know? Only that we pretend to, to uh, you know, to, uh, to be a person who do not understand, you know, like that. But, you know, yeah. if I understand so, that is my stupidity. No one, you know, that uh, uh, do not know anything. You know, everybody, uh, you know, understand perfectly, completely, you know, in their wisdom. Wisdom is uncomparable, comparable, yeah. Not, you know, more wisdom, not less wisdom we have. So no questioner or no answerer. Yeah. And or not only that, all question have uh, you know have uh, or, you know answer in it. If the you know, questioner understand own you know uh, meaning of own question. <laughs> Most of the people just, you know, make a question carelessly, you know, just very shallowly, you know, just, you know, in uh, talking, you know, like uh, uh, daily talking, like that. So, if we understand what I'm going to say, you know, then is this really questionable? You know, we have no, you know, questionable things in the whole universe because we have a wisdom. Even cat, dog has a wisdom. Baby has a wisdom. No? Baby, you know, does not make any question. But he, you know, the baby knows everything. <clears throat> Another question? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please, sir. Uh. By getting answers that I don't expect, I have to shift my position until I don't have one. Mm. Yeah, and again, give me a, again, give me a, again a story. Okay. Yeah, please give me again. By getting answers that I don't expect, I have to shift my position until I don't have one. I don't have to shift my position so I don't have a position. If he gets an answer that he didn't expect, yeah. does he have to then change his way of thinking? Uh, yeah, in, you know, that is okay. That's a very good way, I think. You know, you, know, you don't need my answer. He, didn't, he doesn't need my answer. He knows everything in his mind. You know, just, you know, uh, my answer is my understanding. You know, he has a whole understanding already. That's why you don't need my under understanding. Uh, we, our understanding, you know, we are different person. So, 
you are different understanding. It's okay. That is your understanding. You know, you shouldn't copy my understanding. Yeah. Therefore, I don't even need my own understanding. Whole understanding? My own understanding. It seems that I don't need that either. Oh, that's right, that's right. Because I think there's more of a... You are right. <laughs> uh, really, but, you know, the problem is, is not so much in asking, say, asking you a question. Yes. It's asking myself a question. Yes. And so when I ask myself a question, yes. it's, it's even the worst of illusion. Yeah. Yeah. Even you are, you know, understanding is, uh, you know, that's an illusion too. So why you uh, you are listening to my uh, uh, you know lecture? <laughs> yeah. It, uh, okay. So, Sometimes I find that um, my wisdom correlates to your wisdom. Yeah. In other words, I ask a question to, re to see if if you will reaffirm what I know. Yeah. Yeah, I think that is, uh, you know, that's uh, uh, your opinion. I agree. <laughs> no opposition, of course. Yeah. Because uh, I, 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 I also did the same thing in my youth. You know, I read the book, you know, and the sutras. I listened to the, you know, uh, Elders uh, lecture, uh, and I agreed. Oh, yes, yes, you know, I agreed. But you know, that was his idea. Uh, I said yes, that is my idea. Okay? But uh, you know, coincidentally, you know, coincidentally, <laughs> it was the same. You know. <laughs> Nobody else's truth, is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. No, and you know, that only your decision or your judgment is, it, you know, only true. You know, it is real. Yeah. You shouldn't copy anyone's idea or understanding. So, Buddha said in the last sutra, you know, you rely, you know, uh, upon yourself. Yeah. So Ananda asked him, you know, Buddha, please uh, uh, tell me a last, you know, you know uh, lecture you know, sermon. At that time, Buddha said, you should rely on yourself. You no. Know? You shouldn't rely others idea. <laughs> and you rely on the meaningful, you know, teaching. Not meaningless. Not knowledge. You should rely on wisdom. Not knowledge. Like that. Oh, we have one more time. Any question, please? All right, enlightened. That's very good. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, do you have a last question? Um, yes, you are? I find personally, I, 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 I find that I have problems in life when I want to do something. Um, if I don't want anything or I don't want to do anything, I'm, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. But when I feel that I want to do something and can't do it, that's when I... Uh, is there a remedy to that? <laughs> Okay, that uh, you, the Buddha said to Ananda, you rely on your, you know, self, that you are not, you know, person. 
sure. That is not a person, you know. Not only individual, you know, individual. You know, Ananda understood that there is no individual person in the whole universe. On the, only the realist, you know, realist or dualist. They understand I am only alone, myself. <coughs> but the Buddha's disciple, all Buddha's disciple understand, you know, understood he was a universal a person, not an individual, you know. That's why he Buddha said so. You rely on yourself. That you is not a small, you know, a, a one person. So the problem is in I, I want. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that's just the self. Yeah, not, you know, that's not a small self. That the universal self. Yeah. Because he was enlightened, you know. Enlightened person has no small self. Because he, had, uh, most of our uh, disciples attained to the equal enlightenment. Equal enlightenment means not the individual, you know, the Buddha's enlightenment and, and all others' enlightenment are one, no different. That kind of enlightenment, that is Buddha, that kind of enlightenment which Buddha attained. Yeah. Therefore, you know, you know, you meaning of you are quite different from our, you know, daily language. So rely on you. How do you mean rely on the Buddha? Same thing. Yeah. Yes, sir. You? Oh, I just... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, maybe next time, you know, we are. Uh, uh, you know, the, the, the lecture become very logical, so complicated. Uh, it was not suitable for the many people. No? So our members are uh, uh, reduced uh, gradually. Uh, from the next time, I will change the subject. And uh, from uh, end of, uh, end of uh, uh, the Friday of this month, uh, I uh, uh, provide you a new schedule of lecture. I prepare until next time. Uh, it is more uh, interesting and uh, easier. Uh, that is, uh, uh, all the you know, topics are wisdom from many different sut uh, sutras. Uh, no, wisdom, but in a quality, are quite different. We have a wisdom from uh, uh, Agama Sutra, Hinayana uh, Sutra, uh, wisdom from Vimalakirti uh, uh, Sutra, wisdom from uh, Surangama Sutra, uh, wisdom from uh, Samudhi Sam, Nirum Mokyana Sutra, and the uh, wisdom of, uh, of uh, Surangama Sutra, wisdom of uh, Lankavatara Sutra, wisdom of uh, Complete Enlightenment Sutra, uh, wisdom of uh, Mahapranya Paramita Sutra, and uh, wisdom of uh, 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 that's, uh, Gyanda uh, Vyuha Sutra, and the last one is the wisdom of uh, uh, Sadama Pundalika Sutra. 
No, this is a more very very typical uh, sutra. You know, each sutra, the, you know, the, gave us uh, giving us a uh, different you know explanation, but all uh, you know wisdom. No? It was the same to your wisdom too. So most of people people can understand easily. Yes. Okay, thank you very much tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.